Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a thriller mystery film, The Hidden Face. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with Adrian, a young orchestra conductor, viewing a recorded video of his girlfriend, Belen, telling him that she will be leaving him. Belen pleads with him not to look for her or hate her, because she can't be with him anymore, even though she still loves him. That night, despite the grotesque weather, Adrian goes to a bar to drink his sorrows away. Adrian comes across one of the waitresses, Fabiana, while seeking solace in alcohol. Hours later, Adrian has to leave as the bar needs to close up. Too drunk, Adrian bumps into a man, causing a physical fight. The man's wife immediately meddles and takes her husband away, leaving Adrian on the front porch, drunk and bruised. Fabiana comes out as they leave, and after seeing Adrian's state, she takes the initiative and drives Adrian's car to get him home. The following day, Adrian wakes up in Fabiana's place, as he was too drunk last night to tell her where he lives. So Fabiana brings him to her home instead. Fabiana does not bother to hide her interest in him, but Adrian leaves her place after returning to his senses, without giving her any hormone opportunity. Later that night, Adrian goes to the bar again, and apologizes to Fabiana for how he reacted earlier. He also thanks her for helping him last night. After her shift, Adrian takes Fabiana to the orchestra owned by his uncle. Adrian talks about his work happily and relaxedly. Adrian then tries to kiss Fabiana, but she stops him from doing so, since she's worried about his relationship status. Adrian assures her that he neither has a girlfriend nor a wife. After hearing that, the horny Fabiana lets him tongue massage her. They continue the massage session at Adrian's place, where there's a full-length mirror in front of the bed. The two flirt their hormones in front of it, before moving to the next session. The following day, Fabiana wakes up before Adrian and heads to the bathroom, where she hears strange noises from underneath the sink. Fabiana pays no attention to that and wanders around the place. Fabiana finds what seems to be a workplace near the window, but before she can look through it, Adrian comes down and takes her to the kitchen to cook breakfast. They take their food outside under the shade of a tree, where they can appreciate the picturesque view. Later that night, two police investigators in charge of Belen's mysterious disappearance come to Adrian's place while Fabiana is there. A bald police investigator informs Adrian that the immigration confirmed that Belen hasn't left the country. He looks around the house with his police partner while interrogating Adrian. Adrian tells them that he and Belen have rented the house for two months, and when she disappeared, she only left her workshop and a few other things. As the policemen investigate the property, Adrian tells Fabiana that Belen left him for another man, and he has tried every means to contact Belen, but failed. Later that night, Fabiana takes a nice alone time in the bathtub, while Adrian decides to play the piano downstairs. While lying in the bathtub, Fabiana feels and sees the water waves move towards her, like something from inside the walls is causing them to act this way. Fabiana immediately leaves the tub, when lightning suddenly strikes, causing the electricity power to go out. Adrian quickly goes upstairs and calms her down. Seconds later, the power returns, and the creepiness she once felt quickly turns into lust. They begin tongue massaging each other, but then Fabiana asks Adrian to get the peeping dog out. The following night, the investigator goes to the bar where Fabiana works and warns her to stay away from Adrian. He informs Fabiana that Adrian is a suspect in Belen's disappearance. After work, Fabiana watches Adrian with a smile on her face as he performs the orchestra. The following day, while Fabiana enjoys the warm shower, the water suddenly turns too hot, scalding her skin. She immediately turns it off and checks her shoulder in the mirror. Then she hears that same noise underneath the bathroom sink. This time it freaks her out, but her attention gets redirected to the peeping dog. Later that day, while Adrian's at work, Fabiana has fun jumping on the bed. While doing so, she notices something on the floor. Beside the bedside table is a little sewer-like space and a key necklace underneath it. Fabiana takes it and wears it on her neck in front of the full-length mirror. Suddenly, the lights go out again due to the thunder strikes, and at the same time, Fabiana hears a noise coming downstairs. Although very frightened, Fabiana checks it out. As the thunder rumbles again, Fabiana spots a shadow pass by the window, chiming in with the dog's sudden barking. Scared, Fabiana accidentally knocks on a chair, causing her to trip and hit her head on the piano. Fabiana wakes up soon after, with Adrian in the house, and the power has already returned. After taking pain medication, Fabiana tells her worries. She believes there's a ghost and lets Adrian hear the weird sound underneath the sink. Adrian thinks it's the wind through the plumbing, but Fabiana disagrees. The following day, the investigators contact Adrian and ask him to identify a body they found, possibly Belen's. Adrian goes to the DA office as instructed, and to his expectation, the body is not Belen's. 
Adrian returns home and goes to their bedroom bathroom after hearing Fabiana talking. He asks who she's talking to, and Fabiana replies that she's just looking for a book. She then asks how it went with the DA office. Adrian informs her about what happened and assures Fabiana that Belen is no longer in his life. Fabiana stares intently at the bathroom mirror as she embraces Adrian. This scene reveals that Belen is indeed alive, but is trapped in the secret room behind the two-way mirror, furious as she sees them. The flashbacks play to the events before Belen gets trapped in that room. One day, Adrian informs Belen that he has been chosen to perform the Bogota Philharmonic. Since he will stay there for a year, Adrian asks Belen to come with him. Despite the disadvantages, Belen agrees, and soon they start building their lives together in Colombia. But then Adrian begins to be close to someone else. Once after a performance, Belen catches Adrian talking with one of the violinists, Veronica. They exchange pleasantries, but it's undeniable that there's tension around them. They soon start looking for a place to stay, and fortunately come across a widowed woman named Landlord. Landlord shows her house's simple yet fancy interior to Belen, and they develop a friendship, since they both have chosen to leave their homeland for the men they love. Landlord has been living in the city, so she decides to rent the house, only if they take care of her peeping dog. This is not a problem for Belen, as she loves dogs, and the couple soon moves into the home. One day, Belen decides to surprise Adrian in his office, but as Adrian's uncle opens the door, the smile on their faces vanishes as they see Veronica inside, ruining the surprise. They are not doing anything, and Adrian tells them that he and Veronica are just talking, nothing else more. On the way home, Belen confronts Adrian about his relationship with Veronica because it's not the only time she has seen Adrian with Veronica alone together. Belen is jealousy, and doubts soon create a crack in their relationship, and in no time, there's no trust anymore. She confronts Adrian about his texts and calls with Veronica, and to her dismay, Adrian confirms that he has flirted with Veronica. Adrian explains that nothing happened between them sexually because he cannot hurt her, which doesn't make sense to Belen. So while Adrian's at work, Belen shares her sentiments with Landlord. Since she confirmed Adrian's affair with Veronica, Belen wonders how Adrian would react if she died or something happened to her. Landlord then suggests testing Adrian to teach him a lesson. She takes Belen to the main bedroom, slides the plywood from the bookshelf, and puts a key necklace to unlock the secret keyhole. The full-length mirror beside the shelf opens, revealing a hidden room. Landlord informs Belen that her husband built the room because he was always afraid for his life as he was a former Nazi officer. Landlord explains that the glasses are reinforced and are one-way vision as they come in. This means they can peep at the people outside without them being aware. The room is utterly soundproof and the glass door is hermetically sealed, but there is a speaker that can let her hear everything. There is a generator for the lights, a toilet, a sink, and a bed for her comfort. Landlord bids goodbye after that. Later that day, Belen films her goodbye message to Adrian, stating that she cannot be with him anymore, despite her love for him. After that, she immediately packs up her stuff, which she puts in the hidden room. She then hears the dog barking, which means Adrian is home, so she quickly makes a post-it note on the camera. As she hears Adrian coming upstairs, Belen promptly grabs her bag and runs to the hidden room, unknowingly dropping the key necklace onto the sewer-like space. She stands by the door and watches as Adrian begins to panic after watching her video. He checks the cabinet and the bathroom, looking for her stuff. But when all he finds are her cream and toothbrush, Adrian tries to contact her. As Adrian is devastated, Belen, on the other hand, is filled with joy as she thinks that Adrian truly cares for her and their relationship. Belen cannot bear to see him like that anymore, so she looks for the key necklace in her bag, only to realize her mistake. Belen starts pounding on the door while screaming, hoping that Adrian will hear her. But her attempts are in vain, because Adrian cannot hear her in the slightest. There's also no signal in the room, and the door is shut no matter what she does. Adrian goes to the police with his uncle and the camera to ask for their help to find Belen. The bald investigator asks about the last time they saw Belen, and Adrian's uncle informs the police about what Belen saw in Adrian's office the day before she was gone. Days go by, and Belen starts digging a hole in the wall with the first sharp thing she can find. She also looks for food, but all she can find are expired canned goods. She has to take them in order to stay alive. Every day, pain and guilt consume Belen, as she sees Adrian seeking solace in alcohol because of what she did. But then comes one night, Belen kicks the tubes on the ground, hoping that Adrian can hear her. As expected, he can't hear her, but she manages to make the sink water move. Belen repeatedly bangs a pipe on the tubes, creating small water ripples, but to her dismay, Adrian doesn't even notice it. Just as hope comes to her again, things start going downhill. The generator breaks, and she watches and listens with no choice, as Adrian makes love with his new girl Fabiana. 
The next morning, as Fabiana goes to the bathroom, it reveals that the strange sound she heard from the sink is Belen's voice calling her a hormone bitch. The sink in the hidden room connects it to the outside bathroom. Belen quickly shouts at the top of her lungs for help, but fails miserably. The next scene also reveals that the ripples in the bathtub are Belen's doing, and so is the water turning too hot while Fabiana is under the shower. Belen turns the knob on the wall to drink water, but it turns out it's actually the knob for the shower water temperature. Then comes one night when Fabiana accidentally finds the key necklace. And again, Belen repeatedly screams, thinking Fabiana's going to hear her. Belen is almost out of food and hope until she sees an opportunity. While Adrian is away, Fabiana goes to the bathroom sink to confirm her theory. Truth enough, Belen starts banging on the tubes, creating the water ripples. Fabiana asks questions, and every time, Belen answers through the tides. Belen happily bangs on the tube, as Fabienne asks if it's her communicating, alive but trapped behind the mirror. As she can only communicate with Belen through the bathroom, Fabiana searches for the keyhole on her own. She inserts the key, but then she doesn't turn it, as she realizes something. She will be gone in Adrian's life if she frees Belen. She quickly returns to the bathroom and apologizes to Belen, as she cannot let her come back to Adrian's life and ruin what they have. Just then, Adrian comes in, and Fabiana lies to him, keeping her discovery to herself and leaving Belen enraged and with no hope. The following day, Fabiana moves all their stuff to the other bedroom, as she doesn't want any reminder of Belen. Meanwhile, Adrian meets up with the investigator, who warns him not to hurt Fabiana, or he will kill him. Later that night, as she comes home from work, Fabiana tries to communicate with Belen again, because she cannot endure the guilt. However, when she sees no ripples whatsoever, Fabiana quickly realizes something might have happened to Belen. The following day, while Adrian's at work, the investigator comes to their place and hands in an envelope to Fabiana, revealing photos of Adrian with Veronica. The investigator hopes that this will push Fabiana to leave Adrian, but Adrian finally returns to his senses and ends things with Veronica. After finding out the truth, Fabiana opens the secret room, as Adrian's affair with Veronica bothers her too much. She finds the room in mess and what seems to be a dead Belen lying on the bed. But then, Belen suddenly opens her eyes and smashes the lampshade on Fabiana's head, causing Fabiana to lose consciousness and drop. Belen immediately takes the key from Fabiana and gets out of there. As she's now finally free, Belen notices how much she's changed physically. She also receives a voice message from landlord's attorney informing her that the landlord has passed away and her family wants to sell a house. Hours later, as Adrian comes home, he finds the key necklace in the master bedroom and a picture of him with Belen posted on the mirror. The film ends with Belen sitting alone by the beach's shore, while Fabiana is trapped inside the secret room, hoping to be rescued. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.